Hello, hello, this is Tom Sapp, Tom Sapp Photography, TomSapp.com, if you to check me out. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to photograph flowers. Uh, this is something I get asked a lot. Um, and if you're just walking around in your garden, you want to photograph flowers, it's actually a lot easier than doing it in a studio um, or on location in general. Uh, say you're doing like an interior at weddings and you want to get pictures on the, the tables. If the lighting itself in the room is not very good for photographing flowers, you actually have to do a little manipulation or even bring your own lights with speed lights and use soft boxes on the speed lights or diffuse it some way so the light's not so hard. Um, but then again, <clears throat> excuse me, some people do en enjoy that hard light look on the flowers depending on what flower you have. You can see orchids a lot of times are photographed with very contrasted light, very hard light, um, just to, to kind of give it more of a dramatic feel when you're doing black and white photography. It looks really good or, or just lilies in general or um, well, you see you've got tulips and, and all kinds of flowers that you can photograph that, that just look very, very good. Um, my personal favorite is the dramatic black and white uh, kale lily. Those are just absolutely gorgeous when you get a really good photograph of those. But nowadays you see photographers at like weddings or events, you see these beautiful displays on the tables and they'll just basically use maybe a, um, a 20 millimeter lens or so or, and you shoot at maybe 1.4 or a very low aperture and hold it right above the flowers and get a picture down and that looks really cool too. Uh, as long as you can get it to the point where the flowers are in focus and the table's out of focus, that's nice. Most of the time you can use ambient light and get a good exposure that way and good, good capture. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is, is outside, you basically use the sun, you put the sun pointed you know, pretty much at a 45 degree angle or directly at the flower, and then you hold a reflector underneath um, in almost a beauty dish situation. If you're familiar with how to do beauty lighting in studio, you put a light above the subject for a butterfly if you're shooting a person under the nose, and then you hold the reflector underneath just to kick light up in that shadow area, just because you want to get that detail in there and show all these pretty colors in the leaves and uh, get some nice floral shots for you. Now what we did today was basically, I got a, a, the camera guy that's here doing the video, he, he brought a light with him and it's pretty diffused right now, it's, a, it's an umbrella, so it's an umbrella on a consistent light and I did the, the light meter or with the uh, Calvin temperature reading here, it said 2900, or, um, so the, or 2900 Calvin, so I, I set my camera to 2900 Calvin and I just photographed this flower with very soft light coming in this way. And he also has, just as you can see me now, there's a, a hair light set up, a 45 degree hair light back here. So photographing um, flowers in the studio, if you just want to get detail and you want to get a clean photo, a good representation of what's in front of you, a good uh, key to, to keep in mind in terms of a light pattern would be basically a main light, a soft main light, and then you want a, a 45 degree from behind just to kind of make that the, um, the leaves stand out that are in the background if you're doing more of a three-dimensional setup. Um, so basically with the flower that we have here, I used uh, a very narrow aperture. I think it was like a 1.2. Let me double check here. Uh, I was actually a 4.5 for that one because I was so close. Um, and when I did 1.2, it just it could not really get any detail in the whole flower itself. And I wanted to get um, the front of this. And as you can see, it's, it's three-dimensional. It actually comes out about an inch and a half. So to get that whole thing in focus, the leaves in back and the leaves in front, I opened up with my aperture to 4.5. But um, basically soft light is an easy way to do it if you're not going for that dramatic look or you can just experiment with side lighting, creating texture um, and using reflectors to balance out those shadows. This is Tom Sapp, Tom Sapp Photography, How to Photograph Flowers. Thank you so much.